Hey out, Ryan the Tone Geek here, and today I'm taking a look inside my Dual Professional. I'm going to start some repairs. Uh, basically, uh, ever since I got the amp, the octal sockets have been a little loose. Um, I basically started, my first mod on this thing was installing spring retainers. One of the tubes was rattling around when I received the shipment of this, and that was kind of an indication that maybe something was worn out, and it turns out that every tube socket moves around a little bit too much for my comfort. Uh, the tubes kind of fall right out pretty easily, uh, especially if I'm going to band practice or wherever, and I don't want that to happen, especially, you know, <laughs> playing at volume, having a tube fall out could create havoc on the amp. I'm just not going to have that happen. So I'm going to upgrade to my trusty Belton uh, octal sockets. What the, the only issue with these is they're, they are my favorite, but they're not a direct drop-in replacement. I'm going to have to open up the, um, the, the, the tube socket hole. Uh, so that's going to be some fun. And I'm going to upgrade at the same time. I'm just going to put all new resistors and all new components in. Here are some 5 watt 470 ohm uh, cement resistors. These are going to handle all the extra power and all the extra heat. Not extra power, just going to be the same amount of power. But then I'm also going to upgrade the 1.5K resistors to one watt. Um, if, I don't know if you can see in here, but these resistors, uh, here's a 470 ohm. It's pretty, pretty toast. It looks a little like it was warm, especially this one. I mean, basically the coating on it is flaking off and that's not cool. I mean, this is from 1994, so it's got a lot of years of service on it. Here is 1.5 ohm. You can see or you know k ohm they're okay looking right now but i'd rather upgrade ever since i kind of have now experience with amp building i am more aware of what i like and what i feel comfortable with in upgrading any sort of um, signal or any capacitor or resistor especially resistors to one watt it makes me feel good inside these warm amps i don't think that there's a tone difference i mean in fact there might be a better resistance sort of tone theory going on <laughs> with that i'm not sure but that's what my approach is i'm going to replace all the octals there's five of them in this amp with with these new beltons and we'll just go from there i'll document as much as i can for you guys um, either you have a dual professional or you have an amp that's kind of sort of doing the same thing hopefully this helps you so stick around All right, so wrapping up here, basically I just kind of want to go over a little bit of, you know, is this mod for you or is this modification or repair for you? I think it is. Just take your time. Do uh, Basically, I took a picture uh, and just worked one socket at a time. Just took as many pictures of how it was before I did anything and then took out the old one, unsoldered it, dropped in the new one, and it worked out really well. The Belton's, I feel like, are a lot more secure. Uh, the, the standard ones have like a circular sort of construction that when you pop the pin in uh, for the sockets, they kind of squeeze around like that. And it's just it just started to get weak over time. Expansion and all that fun stuff. The metal wasn't as good as it was when it was brand new. The Beltons hold it in two different spots. So it basically clamps together on two different points of contact. So when you squeeze it in, that's how that works. Um, I like it. Is this, is this right for you? Well, certainly. If you don't want spring retainers, if you are having sort of the, the loose sockets like me, or if you just want the extra security like I did mainly, that was more or less why I did this. I could have got away probably for a while with the, with the spring retainers. Um, the resistors, actually, now I think about it, I think I'm really happy with going this route because the, the resistors looked a little cooked. I'm not quite sure on the full uh, history on this amp. But I think this is going to give me a lot of comfort at night or when I'm playing that it's just, you know, nothing's going to blow up. The, they look, they just looks cooked and they were ready for a change anyway. So all, the, all in all, I think this was a great sort of thing that I did for my amp, taking care of her. Um, I got some cool stuff on the way. There's my deluxe reverb on the bench. So please do subscribe and stick around. Thanks.